great picture of the 2023 Milwaukee Bucks. And I know they're they're and the crazy part is is they don't even have Chris Middleton yet. Okay, they're doing all this without their main co-star, the Robin to the Batman that is Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is your Milwaukee Bucks, the best defensive center in the league. The shot, I think he's still the leader in blocks, Brooke Lopez. He's having a career resurgence. People forget how good he was. And it seems like he's been limited to a back injury for the past couple of years. That is why we thought Brooke Lopez was kind of somewhat slow-footed at times. Still a solid player, but he's almost at like an all-star level like he's at a high starter level so hi my hey my what's up my guy and yeah no what's up jalen johnson yeah nobody's talking about the bucks Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's gonna win his third mvp if he continues like this bobby portis is in the mvp conversation according to basketball reference he's probably the front runner for six man of the year drew holiday should be put in the defensive player of the year can candidate and there chris milton hasn't even played did you say Bobby Portis is in the MVP race? Yes, Bobby Portis, according to Basketball References MVP tracker, this past weekend, if the season had ended this past weekend, Bobby Portis would be the eighth in eighth place for MVP. Uh, not to be like shitty, but why? He's just been incredibly efficient. Like, uh, let me read you off Bobby Portis' stats. Like, even three percent from downtown. <laughs> No, no, just fuck, shut, shut the fuck up. Yes, he's shooting 33%. percent they averaging 13.3 points. There's but he's only, players he in comes the in, he comes 20. in 25 minutes a night, grabs 11 rebounds, 13 points. It's just like, he's just been phenomenal. Like, he comes out here and he's playing just such efficient basketball. Like, his per 36 numbers are, I believe, like eight, 19 points a night with, I believe, 15 rebounds and like half a block, half a steal while dishing out like three six three assists a night and he's a guy that his true shooting right now is at 53 percent, which is down from the past two years but his rebounding rate is 22 he's like one of the best rebounders in the nba is when he's like basically helping them win games and his per is 19.7 which is like basically the best of his career he's just been a very 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 efficient player when he comes see, up i don't get why he's efficient he's not even he's not even better than he is last year in any facet except for rebounding and his defense okay sh shut the fuck up his defensive rating is 100. okay cool that's insane that's like he's having like a dream on green like i'm not saying he's that but that's when he's on the floor the team is so good defensively it's just hard to not have him on the floor but and i know the same thing with Giannis antetokounmpo who same thing with brooke lopez and brooke lopez yeah so i don't get it sounds like basketball reference has no idea what they're doing but that's cool good for bobby i mean that's just like actually a little bit of an absurd take to me but you know teach their own so you know if it works for own, that's, that's cool <laughs> I think another huge thing about this Milwaukee Bucks team is their ability just to, they have depth. I mean, Marjan Bochamp is something mm -hmm. starting to come into the fold. He yeah. looks good. He's a solid player that I find very enjoyable on a nightly basis. But if you just look at this team, okay, you got Giannis averaging 30. Behind him, Drew Holiday's dropping 20 points, eight assists, and six rebounds a night with like 1.6 steals. Brooke Lopez is dropping 15 a night with three blocks. Bobby Porter's coming in with 13.3. Even Grayson Allen is coming out here and having a solid start to the year, shooting 41% on five attempts from three a night. And you fill that up. Then that's when you get into Jordan Wara, who mm -hmm. he's solid. He does a little bit of everything. You got Javon Carter, who's been a starter for them. He's their West Virginia Mountaineer defensive, the goal miner, averaging almost two steals a night for them. And then you get into George Hill, Marjan Bocha, and Wes Matthews. His, his tenacity has been something else for them. And they still have Serge Ibaka, Thanis, and Sandro, you know, in arms waiting. They have Chris Middleton and Joe Ingles, who are still recovering from injury, as well as Pat Connington. This team is loaded. I also like the fact that there is an A.J. Green that's white and plays basketball. Are you serious? Yeah, he plays for the – he's on a two-way contract for the Bucks. His name is A.J. Oh. Green. He's 6'4", 190 pounds. And he played basketball at the University of Northern Iowa. And AJ Green, the wide receiver, is also 6'4, 207 pounds. Isn't that pretty funny? Yeah. 
one's black one's white but like i think it's just funny that they're the same height and almost the same mm-hmm. weight they're like 10 pounds apart but, my buddies met aj green at the atlanta airport like when we were in high school that's cool Got wrap up there. this conversation i'll be right back what's up aaron how you doing the bucks are not losing to the hawks tonight unless uh Giannis or drew are out i think what's uh super cool about milwaukee right now that I don't think Zero mentioned it was like, yeah, obviously they're without Chris Middleton, your second best player, but they also haven't had Pat Connaughton back. So I was listening to a Bucks uh, writer earlier today on my ride home, and he was talking about how, like, Milwaukee, like, you know, they're 9 0, right? Like, they're literally 9 0. They have right now, I think, a slightly, actually, should have it, a slightly above average. Yeah, no, they're actually middle of the pack offense. 14th best offense, but defensive rating wise, they're they're number one, and it's not really even close. Pat Connaughton, Chris Middleton do a lot for him. I think Giannis is Giannis is. I thought it was really fascinating what they were talking about Giannis because you know he's a guy who is in his 10th year in the NBA and he gets hit a lot, right? Because he's just kind of the the guy who does it all. He's a he's a force to be reckoned with. He does most of the scoring down below in the paint or around the basket so it's been cool to see which game was it dang i can't believe i can't remember which specific was it atlanta aaron was it atlanta where he scored four points in the first half and then 30 points in the second half so he kind of gets everybody going which you guys know my thoughts on ball movement i mean it's the most important thing in basketball so I think Chris Middleton and Pat Connison, when they get back, it it's going to take a load off of not only Giannis, but even guys like Drew Holiday. I was very surprised to see Drew Holiday is 32 years old. Drew Holiday has been in the league for like, since like 2000 and what is it? Seven feels a little ridiculous, but he's been in the league for the longest time. So, Hello, I'm back. What's Drew Holiday's age off the top of your head? 34. Whoa, geez. No, he's 32. Wow. Didn't he come in 08, though? Yeah, right? <laughs> he came in 08, right? Am I wrong? Or is he it 2000? It, it was 07 or 08, to my, to my knowledge. He might be 2010. 09. 09. 09. Still, like, Still, I didn't realize Drew Holiday's 32 years old. Yeah, he's been in the league, what, 14 years? Yeah, 13. Thir- 13 yeah 14 years 13 14 because it's always one you think it's 13 but it's always one more because you forget you got to count the first season but yeah drew holiday yeah he's playing at a very high level he's got i mean drew holiday is like mike consists drew holiday to me he's a better mike conley because he's way more dynamic on the defense well mike conley's more of a pure point guard drew holiday's the time drew holiday became a point guard drew holiday was more of a shooting guard mike conley was more of a point guard but two guys who were elite defensive players who were you know just a very all-around game all-star guys who never really got the recognition that they deserved I like Milwaukee a lot, and I think this is one of the, not last years that you have the, this opportunity, but it's one of the last years where you have, I think, no stressors. Like, I think they're the, one of the most talented, if not the most talented team in the NBA. All right, let's move on to NBA power rankings. I agree. It's like, th- this is their time to win another. So let's go. What are you going to do? NBA.com 